My name is Michelle and I'm 32 years old. I've been married to my husband Cooper for three years now, but we don't have any children yet due to work circumstances. Lately, we've been talking about wanting to have a child soon. I have a cute younger brother named Jonathan, who is two years younger than me at 30 years old. This is the unbelievable story of what happened at Jonathan's wedding. My younger brother Jonathan has always been a quiet and reserved person. He used to follow me everywhere, but his lack of speech made it difficult for him to make many friends. However, in front of me, he was always an innocent and cute little brother, and I have always tried to be a supportive sister to him. Even as adults, Jonathan and I still meet up regularly. I got married at the age of 29, and Jonathan moved out to start his career. We often go out for meals and spend time together, but I never expected that he would have a partner, let alone be married. It turns out that Jonathan's wife is someone he met at work. Jonathan has always been intelligent and graduated from a prestigious university. He is now working for a large corporation, and his wife was a clerk there. When I saw her picture, I was surprised by her flashy appearance. I wondered if that was the type of woman my introverted brother liked. I asked my brother out of simple curiosity, What do you see in her? Jonathan said, Hmm, I guess she's the opposite of me. At first I was like, huh? But then my brother continued, I've always had trouble saying what's on my mind, so I admire how she can speak so frankly about anything. That can be both a good thing and a bad thing. While I was thinking that, I couldn't help but feel happy as I watched my brother talk a little shyly, which was a first. I had always thought that my quiet brother, who had decided to get married, must have found an amazing person. When I got home and told my husband about it, Cooper said with a grin, Wow, Jonathan's really living it up, huh? My husband is an actor, and he's pretty well known. If you watch TV or read magazines, you'd probably recognize him. I'm a model, not an actress, but we met through work. I mainly do magazine shoots and don't appear on TV, but we happened to meet at a magazine shoot. His talent agency was promoting him heavily, so he appeared in magazines as well as on TV. As a result, I've met him quite a few times during photo shoots and have been able to talk to him properly when we went out to eat with mutual acquaintances. Things have been going smoothly since then, and we've been together for three years since we got married. Even now, our relationship is great, and he really is a handsome actor. I can't help but think that he always looks so put together. My husband was an only child, but he adored Jonathan like a real brother, and they would sometimes go out for drinks together. When Jonathan's wedding was announced, my husband was overjoyed. On the day of Jonathan's wedding a few months later, I wore the new party dress I bought for this occasion and asked a makeup artist I know to do my hair and makeup. Meanwhile, my husband put on a sharp suit and looked even cooler than usual. I couldn't help but wonder if this was really my husband. You look especially beautiful today, he said, which made me happy too. I felt so lucky to be able to attend the wedding of my beloved little brother. Thinking that, we headed to the wedding venue. However, when we arrived and entered the hall, I noticed something odd. Huh? Why is my name missing from the family table? My parents' names and my husband's name were there, but not mine. My husband and I were both confused. What's going on? A mistake? Even when we told our parents, who we met at the venue, they seemed to know nothing about it. We were all at a loss as to what to do when the mother of my little brother's bride spoke up. Oh, Michelle, it's you. I invited you today, didn't I? She said with a smirk. Um, what do you mean? My seat isn't prepared, I replied. As you can see, we didn't prepare a seat for you, she said. My mind went blank. I'm the groom's sister, so why don't I have a seat? Why do I have to be told such a thing by the bride's mother? I had to say something, but the words didn't come out. My mother said, What do you mean? Michelle is Jonathan's sister. It's strange that she doesn't have a seat, isn't it? Then the bride's mother wrapped her arm around my husband's arm and said, Of course, we invited Cooper, too. We prepared a seat for him. Come on, sit down. She approached my husband in a cajoling voice, which was quite different from how she spoke to me. My husband shrugged off the bride's mother and supported me by the shoulder. This is not a joke, he said. Seeing this, she seemed satisfied and pushed me again. Anyway, Michelle doesn't have a seat, so could you leave? She said with a triumphant look, and I was too dumbfounded to respond. I see. Okay, let's go home, I said, and my husband took my hand and left the venue.
My parents followed us from behind and said, We'll go home together too. But I replied, That's not necessary. Jonathan would feel sorry for you. Please attend the wedding reception. Sorry, but Cooper and I will leave. As we were having that conversation, the bride's mother chased after us. Wait a minute, Cooper. Breathless, she came running to us and said without any apology, Michelle, it's okay for you to go home, but Cooper should attend. With you there, the venue will be lively and I can show you off. Oh, by the way, take a photo with us, won't you? As if it were natural. Cooper finally snapped at his mother-in-law. Don't mess around. Even though he usually appears on TV and has a mild-mannered personality, the room froze at the sound of his angry voice. You are making a fool of my precious wife. I wouldn't take a photo with someone as uncivilized as you. The mother of the bride stood there with her mouth agape in shock, as did my parents. Let's go, Michelle, he said. Then my husband took my hand and we left the venue. According to what my parents told me, the mother of the bride was unhappy throughout the ceremony, but they were able to finish the wedding safely. Jonathan didn't know about it and returned to our parents' home after listening to a series of stories from them. Upon hearing this, my husband and I headed to our parents' home as well. As soon as we arrived, my brother rushed over to me and bowed his head. I'm sorry, sis. Looks like I made you feel bad today, he said. What are you talking about? It's not your fault, Jonathan. I said that, and my brother lifted his face and looked awkward. Hey, Jonathan, I don't understand why your mother-in-law hates me so much. We only greeted each other once during the meeting of both families, right? I asked. Then my brother spoke with a heavy voice. It seems like my mother-in-law is jealous of you, sis, he uttered. Jealous? Unexpectedly, my voice went up. I don't know the details either because I never asked her, but my mother-in-law also wanted to become a model in the past, but she never passed any auditions, apparently. So she tried to make her daughter a model instead, but that didn't work out either. It may be rude to say this, but my younger brother's wife and her mother can't be described as having good figures, to say the least. In fact, they have figures that suggest they should be more mindful of their bodies. However, when my brother said something like that, I was taken aback. For such a reason, they're harassing me? While I was puzzling over it, my husband asked my brother, I understand why that person dislikes Michelle, but why didn't you notice that this has been going on until today, Jonathan? You didn't know either, did you? Jonathan looked uncomfortable and said, I left everything about the wedding to my girlfriend. My brother hung his head while saying that. As we listened to the details, we found out a lot of things. My brother was busy with work and wanted to have the wedding a little later. However, his girlfriend and her mother had already made the wedding plans without consulting him. His girlfriend had quit her job as soon as the wedding plans were made and insisted on making all the decisions herself. They said that the bride is the main character of a wedding, so let us do as we please. As he spoke, Jonathan's voice began to tremble. I'm sorry, sis. I never thought things would turn out like this, he said, tears falling from his eyes. It wasn't his fault. Looking back, everything had been strange from the beginning. As we were relatives, we didn't receive an invitation. But for some reason, my husband received detailed information about the wedding from the bride. In hindsight, I was a fool for not noticing how unnatural it was. Jonathan, it's okay. Don't blame yourself too much, I said, patting my brother's shoulder. He continued to cry, apologizing repeatedly. After he calmed down, he said he wanted to be alone for a while and away from his wife. To be honest, I didn't want anything to do with such an unreasonable family anymore, but I thought it was his own life and his own decision, so I decided to watch over him without saying anything. After a while, my younger brother contacted me. Mom-in-law wants to talk to you, so please come to our house. To be honest, I didn't understand what was going on. After doing such a thing, shouldn't they apologize directly first? My husband was also angry next to me, but I decided that I couldn't be satisfied with this situation and went to their house. That day, my brother, my husband, who came along to support me, and I headed to their house as a group of three. When we rang the doorbell, the mother-in-law on the other side noticed my husband and said in a cloying voice, I'll open the door now. Upon seeing my face, she made a blatantly unpleasant expression, but I went inside without paying any attention to it. In the living room, my brother's wife was also present, but I got straight to the point without worrying about it. You said there's something you want to talk about. 
What is it? I asked. The mother-in-law replied, Can you at least apologize first? Huh? Why should I apologize? I replied a bit firmly. It's because of you that Cooper couldn't participate in the wedding ceremony, you know? Everyone around me was looking forward to seeing Cooper. It's all your fault. Can't you apologize? The mother-in-law insisted. What are you talking about? With all due respect, this situation is your fault, isn't it? It's extremely thoughtless of you to not have prepared a seat for the groom's older sister at the wedding, I retorted. Are you getting a little too big for your britches just because you've been in a magazine? My younger brother's mother-in-law followed suit. My brother-wife followed suit. Yeah, just because you have a nice figure, your face isn't ugly, but there are plenty of models like you out there, she sneered. Then the two of them burst out laughing while Jonathan's mother joined in. I was speechless, and Jonathan shouted, Don't be ridiculous. Do you think my sister got to where she is in life without making any effort? She worked hard and turned her weaknesses into strengths. Yes, my height has always been a source of insecurity, a trait I inherited from my father. When I was in school, boys teased me by calling me a giant girl. I made sure to never wear heels, always hunching over to appear smaller. But then my younger brother Jonathan said to me, Sis, you're blessed with height, so use it to your advantage. His words encouraged me to start wearing heels, standing tall and confident. Suddenly, the world seemed brighter. Before long, I was scouted to be a model when my family and I were out and about. In fact, if it weren't for my brother, I never would have met my wonderful husband. Thinking back on this, my husband chimed in, picking up where my brother left off. Michelle works hard every day, stretching, running, and maintaining her figure. Meanwhile, the two of you don't even bother looking in the mirror before criticizing her. Upon hearing my husband's words, the other couple turned beet red and bowed their heads. It's precisely because people like you can't help but feel jealous that your nasty personalities manifest themselves in your appearance. Try to change your attitude, he continued. As a popular handsome actor, Jonathan confronted the other couple with reality, leaving them speechless. I never thought you were like this. I was going to forgive you if you apologized to my sister right now, but I've had enough. I want a divorce, Jonathan declared. No, no, please, not a divorce. I can't bear it, Jonathan's wife cried out in despair, tears streaming down her face. However, it seemed like my younger brother had recorded our conversation today, just in case. If you don't agree to the divorce, I will hire a lawyer to make it happen. Furthermore, it seemed that other guests at the wedding venue had recorded their behavior and remarks as well, which my brother claimed would be used as evidence. Upon hearing this, she turned pale and signed the divorce papers on the spot. However, her mother was not satisfied with that decision and kept yelling at me saying, It's all your fault. Ignoring her mother's comments, we stood up and headed towards the entrance. Although her mother followed us and tried to persuade my brother, it was already too late. His mind was made up and nothing could change it. My brother may now have a divorce under his belt, but at least he was able to sever ties with that minefield of a family. I truly believe that it's for the best that he never became a member of such an irrational family. Michelle, as Jonathan's sister, you need to check out his future partner, Super said with a laugh, addressing both me and my brother. Yeah, that's right. Next time I'll have my sister and brother-in-law check her out. But I think I'll take a break from marriage for a while, my brother said with a troubled smile. When we told our parents that he had gotten a divorce and was back home, they were overjoyed. There's a better person out there for Jonathan, so the whole family comforted my brother, and we had a big party that night. Meanwhile, Jonathan's ex-wife had quit her job on a whim and couldn't go back, so she was still unemployed. She yelled at our parents, blaming them for spoiling Jonathan. I still meet up with my brother regularly and have enjoyable family meals at home. I hope he finds happiness when he meets the right person next time.